So every now and again, you get one of those magical days where everything comes together. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? That day was the Monday that has just passed, and I thought I'd do a quick video about what happened. It was a really interesting day. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So yeah, uh, Mondays in late January, early February, I don't hold out much hope for. They tend to be pretty dull, nothing really seems to happen. Um, you know, it's just, you just sort of get on with things the best that you can. But this day was going to be different though. I didn't realise it to start with. But in the very first race of the day, the 3.30, um, there seemed to be a lot of late backing activity. Now you'll know that I'm active on social media and uh, particularly in the forum because the Bet Angel forum is full of other Bet Angel users and people who I know are genuine traders with genuine uh, discussion and comments going on. I tend to post a lot there. And if I see something unusual uh, or something interesting, I'll often bring it up there first and then I'll go out to social media. But the interesting thing about this first race was that it got a lot of late backing. So what actually happened was, you know, everything looked normal for a while and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 we had a load of orders hit the market. Now, this is something that has happened before and it does happen on a regular basis, uh, but sometimes more spectacular than others. And on this particular occasion, you know, suddenly at the back of my head, it was like going, oh, I've seen this before. So, um, or, you know, the next race, I was a bit more primed for it. And then when the three, sorry, the three, the 140 race appeared, I was on the lookout for this sort of activity. I was really interested in seeing if some large money was going to come into the market. And then as soon as it arrived um, and it smashed through the current price activity, I just jumped and started backing the favourite because I thought, I know what's going to happen here. The favourite's going to be backed. And sure enough, you know, bit by bit, the favourite started to come in. And um, the interesting thing was, on the first race of the day, the favourite won. Um, and so the wave of money that came in on the next race was significant, uh, very, very significant. And, um, it, it, you know, I just couldn't believe um, just how much this favourite was being backed. It was being backed more than anything I'd seen for a long, long time. I keep detailed records of all price activity that occurs within the markets and so on. So I know when I see something unusual. And this was unusual. It was attracting incredible attention. So, um, you know, I sort of anticipated this may happen. And as soon as it did happen, then I jumped on board and started uh, getting involved and did incredibly well on that particular race. So of course, the question then was, is this gonna happen again on the uh, 150? And sure enough, it did. So if you look at the Twitter timeline, I've, I've grabbed a screenshot of this, um, you'll see my little comments, <laughs> which were basically saying, fill your boots. You know, it was a, a great opportunity that was right in front of us. And um, if you look on the forum under the Today's Racing thread, you know, everybody was going mad on there as well because everybody had spotted the opportunity and Christmas had come early. Christmas had come uh, at the end of January. So the interesting thing was, you know, that the, 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 the favourite on that race uh, was backed in heavily. Now, that wasn't a particular surprise because the previous race, the uh, 140, the favourite had lost. So the money started to appear um, on the 1350, got backed heavily, and the favourite lost again. So all that money had gone down the drain on that particular runner. So what did you think happened um, on the two o'clock? Well, yes, it got backed again. So um, whoever had made money on the first, lost money on the second, lost money on the third, looked like they were back at the two o'clock. And um, of course the backing started again and pulling the price in quite dramatically. So from a trading perspective, it's really easy. If you think about trading, this is why trading is so brilliant. Price of a horse starts up here and then the price gradually gets backed in and backed in and backed in. People are gambling on it, expecting it to win. But from a trading perspective, you don't need to carry that risk into the race itself. You back it up here, you lay it down there, and you've made your money before the race has even started. So the fact that it loses is an irrelevance to you. So yeah, won the first race, the favourite lost the second, uh, lost the third. The heavy money came for the favourite in the two o'clock, and it lost. So, um, you know, that was pretty bad stuff at that particular point. At 10, well, bad for the person who was backing it, or the people that were backing it. 
great for traders, fantastic for traders, and I was going mental. I was just going Philly boots, Philly boots, uh, because it was just one-way traffic. It was wonderful. Now, um, if you looked at the next race, the 10 past two, I'm having to recall all of this, um, initially it drifted, but then again the pattern of heavy backing activity came rocketing in. So when you looked um, at that, you just carried on doing the same thing again. And that horse lost as well. So attention switched to the 20 past two, heavy backing on that, not as much, but you know, a reasonable amount of backing, uh, and certainly less enthusiastic. So at that point I was thinking, I wonder if this person is no longer doing this. You know, have they run out of money? Have they just given up? Have they decided that after backing heavily for <laughs> losing favourites that it wasn't going to be their day? But for whatever reason, the 20 past uh, two wasn't so active. So it started starting to feel a little bit like this had ended then. And um, anyway, there was late backing, not as much as we'd had before, and that favourite lost as well. So, you know, all of a sudden we had five losing favourites that had been backed with significant amounts of money. Disaster for favourite backers. Fantastic for traders, disaster for favourite backers. Um, and so we turn on to the uh, 2.30 and there was no significant backing activity here at all. And in fact, the price drifted on the favour. The price went shooting out. Well, I say shooting out, it didn't go -dong. It just gently went on its way. It, it wasn't being backed is what I'm trying to say. Um, and the price drifted uh, on the way to post. And of course, because this person had just backed heavily five runners, four of which in a row had lost, uh, sorry, six runners, f five of which in a row had lost. Um, they didn't decide to back the favourite uh, at 2.30 and guess what happened? The favourite drifted and it won. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, very interesting, but it created an absolutely first class opportunity um, to make a lot of money trading. And if you look on the forum, a lot of people made a lot of money um, in basically an hour. And these opportunities don't come around very often, but if you look at the forum, there's threads devoted to like certain types of activity, um, one of which is this particular type of activity, where you can see the pattern of repetition that has occurred over a number of years. And it's quite curious how this occurs. Now, from a trading perspective, you know, it'd be wonderful if you had days like this all the time, but you have to accept that that is not the case. But when you see these opportunities, you just jump on them. Um, and you know throw money at it basically because they're opportunities that are too good to miss the trouble is the first time you see this you probably will miss it because you will be nervous and you're not sure what to do but upon seeing this opportunity I just flew into the market and you know did whatever I could with as much money as I could and um, it will be a day that lasts me for the whole of the month pretty much I should imagine um, and loads of other people did well as well. So um, it was good to see. And it, it just highlights one of those things. Well, it highlights several things, you know. The first thing is that if you're trading manually, you can pick up on this stuff quickly and act upon it. But also, you know, the benefits of trading are enormous when you consider how many of these runners were gambled from ridiculous odds. You know, we had um, six runners um, that were gambled from large odds to much, much lower ones. Um, and in some cases, ridiculously low odds, you know, odds that just, you know, I almost just like, you know, remortgaged the house and stuck a lay bet on because they'd moved so much. Um, but, you know, obviously I wouldn't do that. But um, from a trading perspective, you didn't have to worry about any of that risk because you can just trade that stupendous move. And, you know, there you go. And it's the sort of thing that isn't readily picked up unless if you're actually watching the market and you're beginning to understand how this all links together. I actually did a post on the forum, which you should check out, which shows you the average move on each one of those favourites over the course of the day. And the interesting stat that came out of this, because I keep these stats for every day and I have done for many, many years, so I can improve my own trading and also, you know, give advice to people about what generally works when and why and how. Um, but basically it said that if you just backed the favourite um, and laid off at post time on that day, you would have earned £100 from using £100 stakes. Uh, now that's abnormally high, um, but I think the next day it was £20 or something. But the reason that I did that post was it just stood out as one of those, you know, days that uh, you sort of live for, really. And they are unusual, but it was an amazing sort of day to see. Now, the interesting thing about the day as well is after that, the activity just died down and everything went back to normal. And it was down to getting 10s and 50s and whatever we could out of each individual market. Um, but there was a little resurgence at quarter past four. Suddenly, um, this activity appeared again on the quarter past four. I can't remember if that horse won or not. Can't remember. Um, I'll check and uh, I'll, I'll post up an image here on the uh, race results 
Um, I can't remember off the top of that because, um, you know, by then, obviously, that was a bonus, but most of that money had been made at the start of the day. And I actually posted on Twitter that my hands were shaking. The adrenaline was pumping through me so much that actually, um, by the sixth race, my hand was actually shaking on the mouse because it was just such a rush being able to, to pull in those sort of results, really big results. So um, anyway, I, I thought it was a, a really interesting uh, thing to happen. It doesn't happen very often, uh, but when they do, if you can jump on those opportunities, they're absolutely huge. And I thought it would be you know, an, an interesting video to reflect upon this week. So um, y you know, when that occurs again, don't know. I'm sure it will at some point, probably, I suspect, um, around sort of April-ish time. Uh, unusual to see it at this time of year, but if you look at the thread in the forum, you can see that actually, you know, there has been a, a slight pattern of activity within it. Why it occurs, who it is, what they're doing, difficult to uh, particularly uh, stick uh, a solution on those questions. Um, but nonetheless, certainly for a lot of the traders within the Bet Angel community, it was an absolutely fantastic day um, that will be remembered for some time, I should imagine. Anyway. Um, interesting thing for, uh, that happened last week, check the um, forum, uh, have a read of uh, all of the excitement that was going on that day and uh, maybe you'll pick up one of these days uh, at some point in the future.